Hi guys, EBP Man, what's Abbott's for me? And what we're going to do next is we're going to pair the uh, gear circle uh, with our Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Let's see what's involved. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our phone is in pairing mode. So I'm going to press the Bluetooth button. Um, all I'm doing is holding it. And what I'm going to do is choose scan. So now it's in pairing mode. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the gear. Now you notice that we have the blue light is flashing, letting us know that it's uh, right now in pairing mode. And what you'll see is you have gear circle there. So I'm going to choose gear circle. And right now it's going through the pairing process. Now that it's gone through the pairing process, uh, one thing that you'll notice is that it's actually installing software using the Samsung Gear software um, to support some of the features that are available on the uh, Gear Circle. So I'm going to go ahead and say I agree. Um, I understood all the conditions are. I'm, you know, you could choose if you want to be able to provide any information to Samsung or not. Uh, so I'm going to hit finish. And now what's happening is the gear circle is actually pairing. So uh, keep in mind that, uh, once again, uh, some of the interesting things here that we're seeing is that there is uh, assistive software that is being uh, installed to pair and provide a enhanced experience uh, with your gear circle. We see this with most headsets where you could go to a marketplace and download the software, but I have to say that this is the first time that I've seen an experience where it's so nicely tied together. Typically you do your Bluetooth pairing, then you go to the Android market or the iPhone um, the market, and then you download your software. Uh, this is uh, all part of the Bluetooth pairing process has been facilitated for us. So here you're going to see um, some information. And let's, let's go and see what's happening here on the phone. I'll zoom into this so you can uh, get a peek to this. So what it's doing now is it's going to tell you or it's giving you some some tips and we'll see if we can get that close about how to use the, the the headset. So it's giving you kind of an introduction of everything that's going on, how to increase the volume, um, you know, what happens when you uh, use uh, or pull apart the um, actual headset. So we'll hit close and then I'll come back out of zoom. And now what you notice is that uh, typically um, you see here this gear, Samsung gear, has um, all your watch settings. Um, and if I do, you know, we'll, we'll get into that in a couple seconds. But here you notice that I have my gear circle and it's telling me that it's connected. You have this function which is called uh, gear alive. And really this is about setting how you want your audio settings to be so what type of music do you listen to and you know you could go somewhere in between so you can go it's not quite classic with somewhere in between it's not quite um, rock somewhere in between and you could just adjust um, you know what you want to go for and you notice you have treble bass heavy instrumental um, or vocal so as you go further in each direction it's um, it's allowing to do some some adjustment uh, here you have um, all of the uh, equalizer settings and things that you can change. You'll notice that you have um, various settings here that you can turn on 3D, you can turn on bass, you can turn on clarity. We'll see how each one of these, uh, I'll, again I'll provide a, uh, an update on my experience with it once um, I've been using it for a couple days. We'll go back to basic, we'll go all the way back. Um, you do have notification capabilities, I'm just going to say okay for this. And then what you could do is, again, um, very similar to uh, what is going on with your uh, gear, right? This gear, uh, uh, S, you can determine what kind of notifications you're going to get, right? So I can say, I can uh, uncheck everything. I only want, um, you know, missing calls, or I can uncheck things. Let's see if I can do that really quickly. Oop, I did that too fast. Turn everything off. All I want is incoming call, missed calls. Um, I want my alarms, schedule items, messages. Um, I don't want any emails. You know, I got a lot of widgets and a lot of applications in here that I really don't care for to receive an alert on. Um, let's see, is there anything else that I want in here? Doesn't look like it, there, there's anything else. But you guys get the gist that pretty much what you can do is you can enable or disable, you know, what you want to have on or off. We'll leave everything on for now. We'll go back one. Uh, you can uh, manage, again, um, your notifications or limit your notifications. Sorry, we already had gone in there. So let's get out. Uh, you can limit your notifications. Um, so it says block all 
voice notifications on the gear circle except for incoming notification call notifications alarm while the mobile device is being used so you can you know if you're using it and you just don't want to be interrupted by everything you can go ahead and, and enable that if you want and let's see and then here you have this little message letting you know that if you do choose to uh, use any of these features uh, well, while your uh, notifications won't be sent to your gear circle if it's not connected which is you know kind of obvious you know but it's okay fine having a message there if we go into settings um, you'll notice that there are controls um, voice control volume monitor and class controls that you can enable or disable and then you have a uh, nifty little um, user manual that you can go to so you know if you if you want to um, go into that area you can we'll just get out of that uh, so that was uh, that was the actual setup um, it looks like there uh, in this specific area there doesn't seem to be any kind of a software update for the gear that's um, that I see here because none of these things are selectable. I can rename it, I can disconnect it. So I don't think that the headset itself seems to be software gradable, especially with all these controls and applications that you see here. If I click on the side, you will notice, uh, for those of you who have, let's bring this down a little bit, sorry, um, what you'll notice is you have here your gear circle and your gear. So you can switch between the two devices that you're managing uh, quite easily. Uh, from one to the other and then you get this little message I haven't chosen don't show again so it shows up um, and then there's the uh, manage device section it's going to show both of the devices that you have and I guess that there's probably going to be an ecosystem uh, for uh, gear type devices when you see uh, the fact that you know they've already thought about having this pull down list that has all your gear devices so um, let's take a look at the actual headset in a little bit more detail um, and some of the aspects of things that will happen when you use it. So the first thing I wanted to focus on is the volume control. And one of the things that you can do with the volume control is you can swipe this way to increase the volume or you can swipe this way to decrease the volume. What you can also do is by just um, tapping this area you can also swipe if you have an incoming call and there is a vibration and you just want to stop that vibration notification coming in you could just swipe it as well to turn that off uh, so there's not a lot um, in this specific area when it comes to all the capabilities it's pretty basic and straightforward now the next thing I wanted to highlight is where your pinhole mic is you notice that the pinhole mic is right there so when this is inserted into your ear um, it is going to be um, really close to your cheek and if you notice uh, this uh, part of the headset this is the right side so your mic appears on the right side of the headset uh, the next thing that we'll talk about is the status indicator um, so th there you have your little status indicator and your status indicator is going to blink uh, three times when it's powering on uh, red three times when it's uh, powering off incoming calls or call notifications is going to blink blue and when it's in pairing mode, it does you know what you see with most uh, headsets as they're pairing. You're going to have it uh, pair or or blink green, blue, and red. Now the circle uh, that you see there is your play talk uh, button. Um, and one of the things about that is it's a multifunction button, right? So you're going to be able to press it uh, once to answer a call or press it once to end a call. Um, you can use um, this uh, button also when you're listening to music to pause it or play music. If you uh, press it twice um, you can use it to move to the next song and the other thing that you can do is if you press and hold um, you'll be able to reject a phone call um, if one's coming in or what you could do is uh, turn on S voice if uh, you uh, choose to by doing that press and hold now one of the things I wish it did is it enabled Google Google Now because um, I'm not well S voice works okay I'm, I'm more of a fan of, of Google Now so I hope there's there's something out there soon that allows us to switch. Now the the we talked about the fact that um, there's there's magnets here. If I let it go, you'll notice how they come together. These magnets, uh, these magnets serve uh, multiple purposes. Uh, they're not just there to keep the headset together, as I showed you there, but they also they also give you the have functionality. So when you uh, have an incoming call, if you separate them, the phone call is going to answer. Um, if you connect them together, it's going to end the call. Um, if you're listening to music and you connect them together, it will basically uh, stop the music. So that's another neat feature, neat trick with the uh, that actually is part of the magnets. 
Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about is the actual headset uh, earpieces itself. And I have to say that I have been very, very impressed with the with the actual fit of the actual headset. Now, they're made out of two pieces, as you can see there. Uh, the first piece that you have right here is um, what would go into uh, the best way to describe it, your ear canal. And then the second piece that's right here, and even though you'll notice that it has also kind of an opening for your speaker on both sides, um, really performs um, a nice uh, a bit of noise isolation. Again, I'm not saying noise cancellation. We need to be clear about that. Noise isolation is like if you were to put earplugs in your ear and then you were to isolate uh, that noise. It's not an active noise cancellation technology, but it's something that when you put it in your ear, um, it covers the your, your ear, the opening of your ear beyond your canal, where it makes it um, much more pleasurable to listen to music. Now, it's not going to 100% eliminate. I don't know what percentage. I haven't seen any numbers. You know, some people say 97, some people say 98. Nothing is really 100%. But it is, as soon as you put this on, even when it's off, you go, wow, what happened to all the noise uh, because of how it it fits so tightly and snug in your ear. And I, what I did is, before actually even doing the video, I just uh, w was wearing them uh, for several hours, right? I'm just walking around, just using. I wanted to see how the feel of the of the earpiece was uh, without any music on. Um, just wanted to just feel it. And I'll tell you, they are very, very comfortable. The weight, um, while these things, um, there's a lot of technology in here, and it's not incredibly lightweight. I will tell you that um, the weight that it does have is well balanced, and I did not experience any kind of stress whatsoever. All right, guys, so that concludes our pairing experience as well as a review of all the controls and all the nifty things that the headset does. Uh, the next review that I'll post is going to be more about audio experience, and it's going to be my experience um, using this as an avid runner or someone who's working out at the gym and, you know, just um, around audio quality. Still haven't plugged them in my ears to listen to music, so I'm really looking forward to that now that I've already paired them.